Today I'm reviewing an application for you that works with your phone's NFC function. So if you have a Galaxy S3 or a Galaxy Nexus, this application will help you use any NFC enabled card or any NFC tag without having to rewrite it. So let's go ahead and dive in. The app was originally featured on the XDA portal site by Poor College Guy. And it talks about NFC and some of the features of some of the new phones are coming out, such as the Galaxy S3 or even the Galaxy Nexus. And it talks about that this app launches applications or features or even turns certain applications and options on your phone on simply by using an NFC tag. Now, it also references the WebJohn57 thread that was posted regarding this application. So we'll go ahead and open that. And this explains a little bit more detail what are some of the features that are unique to this application and what makes them unique and the fact that it is most NFC applications that are on the market right now require you to have either a, a blank or a rewritable um, NFC tag and those generally cost maybe about $15 or uh, roughly you can get about you know 20 or 15 to 20 of those for 15 bucks. Now if you think about it that's a lot of money so what this application does is it will use any NFC tag it doesn't matter if it's on your credit card or if it's actually a blank or even a written NFC tag. So it makes it nice and very functional and it'll save you some money. If we open up the Google Play Store uh, link, you need to look for any tag NFC launcher. Now, this is listed by ExtraSec, X-T-R-A-S-E-C. And there's a little demo of the application running showing you using the NFC off of a card. And it has quite a good reputation, so let's go ahead and open it up on the phone. What we have here, obviously, is the Galaxy S3. This is a package of NFC tags that I purchased online. It's about $14.99, and here is one of the tags themselves. I chose to get the sticker circular version. These work for what I need. They come in squares. They come with logos. Um, blank ones are easy for me because then I can you know, write whatever I want on them. And uh, what we need to do first, of course, with the application itself, open up the Google Play Store. Find the application, any tag NFC launcher, buy extra sec, install it, and then we'll go ahead and open it up. It's a very, very simple interface. You have a scan, which is one of the first things it asks you to do. Then you have the tags, which is a list of some of the activities that you've activated or configured in the past. And they also have a recommendation site for some of the other things that they have. We're not going to worry about this. It's a free application, ad supported currently, and it tells you right out the door. Go ahead and scan any NFC tag. So we're going to scan this NFC tag. It recognizes it. And first thing it's going to ask us to do is, do you want to configure this tag? So we'll say, okay, do I want to name it? Sure. Let's name it Wi-Fi. Not to say that this is something that a lot of people will use, but for the sake of this example, we'll go, to, go ahead. And it says, add a task for this tag. So what you go in here and hit the add, and it goes through the options of what it gives you. Connection, capture image, um, intent, sound, uh, and as well as display and media button. Uh, it categorizes the actions that it does, but the general option obviously under connection, you get all the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, mobile data, auto sync, and you're able to add them uh, by you selecting them and then you choose what you want to do. Do you want to turn it on or turn it off? Or do you want to toggle it? Toggle obviously plays the really good feature is that if you scan it once, it turns it on, you scan it again, it turns it off. So for the sake of this example, I'm just going to use toggle. It adds toggle, that's it. And then you just put it over the NFC. And then you say, now if you notice it turned on my Wi-Fi and it connected. Next time I scan, it turns it off. Now I have it configured to tell me every time what is the feature or what is the action that it's doing. But the thing that we need to keep in mind here is that it did not actually write anything to this tag. It only used it to trigger it. It kind of like writes the serial number of this tag inside the phone and it uses that to trigger the application and the app runs in your background. The application does exactly what it promises. It's similar to some of the other applications on the market in the effect that it turns on services and it turns them off. But the benefit of it is it actually doesn't need to have a brand new NFC tag. You don't have to have a blank one. If it's a written tag or if it's a, a already a, a non-rewritable tag, it's still functioning. So it's a free app. It's been featured on XCA, so you know it actually has some good backup and a lot of threads as far as support. So I would say definitely check it out. Keep in mind, again, it doesn't necessarily need brand new tags. So if you have one of those credit cards that have NFC on them, such as the Freedom Card from Chase, you can even use the NFC tag on that to launch an application. 
Um, I personally find this very functional in the sense of if you're going into a situation where tasking applications on the market like Tasker don't work, this will because you're able to activate a certain service, either GPS, turning it on and off, and then working with that. So hopefully that becomes functional for you. Try it out, let me know in the thread, and I'll try to respond as much as possible. Um, on the second, uh, on the second notice there, I happen to have a, a video that just came out last weekend for a battery, an extended battery review on the Galaxy S3. Please check it out. Let me know and like and subscribe this video, and I will see you guys next week.